Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we would be simulating the Colpitts oscillator circuit using the KiCad tool. So, before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share, and subscribe to my channel below for more such videos. First, we have to save this particular Colpitts oscillator circuit. In this particular folder now you can see that we can double click on this culprits schematic and this particular design window appears in this particular schematic editor now select the 2n2219 transistor PJT click OK and place this particular transistor on the schematic window now right click on this particular transistor and click on property define the reference as q1 click on spice model and click on select file now you must provide the path where this particular bjt model is present and Select this 2N2219A model type as BJT. Select the alternate node sequence as 3, 2, 1 and click OK. Now the transistor model has been defined for this particular circuit. Next we have to place the other components such as the voltage source, resistor or the capacitor select the polarized capacitor and click OK now place this particular polarized capacitor on the schematic window next click escape and again place the second polarized capacitor on the schematic window now right click on this click on property define the reference as c1 and define the value of the first capacitor as 82 pico farad and click ok similarly right click on second capacitor define the reference as c2 and define the value as 82 pico farad and click ok now click on symbol and place symbol and in the filter type p spice now select the inductor and place this particular inductor on the schematic window so this particular inductor capacitor forms the tank circuit now define this particular reference as L1 and define the value of inductor as 320 micro Henry and click OK now click on add symbol and in this filter type piece files and now select the resistor click on resistor in order to rotate press R place this particular resistor on the schematic window similarly place the second resistor on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial now right click on the resistor and define the reference as R1 and define the value as 10k now right click on second resistor click on properties define the reference as R2 and define the value as 1 kilo ohm and click OK next click on add a symbol and we have to place a voltage source so type P spice and select the voltage source 
place this particular voltage source on the schematic window right click on this voltage source click on property define the reference as v1 and define the value as 0 click on spice model define the dc as 6 volts and click ok now click on add a power port and type ground place this particular ground connection on the on the schematic window now click on add label and place the label v1 and place this on the schematic window now click on add a wire and connect the global label v1 to the voltage source and the negative terminal to the ground next we have to make the connections for this particular circuit so connect the terminal 2 of transistor to the inductor l1 and now the terminal 1 of the transistor is connected to the resistor r2 and the capacitor c1 is connected to the capacitor c2 now from the capacitor C2 the wire is connected between the transistor Q1 and the resistor R2 and from the capacitor C1 is connected to the inductor L1 and the resistor R1 is connected to the inductor L1 and from the resistor R1 it's connected to the terminal 3 of the transistor next we have to place a global label v1 and place this particular label on the schematic window Click on add a wire and connect the wire from the global label V1 to the resistor R1 and the transistor Q3 and now place the ground connection on the resistor R2. Next click on wire and connect the capacitor C2 to the inductor L1 and the transistor terminal now for this particular circuit we have to do the transient analysis so click on place click on add text and define this as dot tran and define 0 0.01 and 10 millisecond and click ok and place this particular command on the schematic window now click on inspect click on simulator now click on the simulation parameter and define the t or the time step as 1 e to the power of minus 0 seconds and final time as 0 0.001 seconds and the initial time as 0 and click ok now run this particular simulation and now click on probe and place the probe across the capacitor and the resistor now zoom in in order to see the simulated result now you can see the simulated result which is the output of this particular call pits oscillator thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below